This is Dr. Ragland of Zombie Hunter University with part two of our Titan hunting tutorial. There are a couple of reasons for devoting two videos to the Titan, which I will explain as we go along. We begin with Tacky, a level 66 test subject using a saber. The saber is an 80 proficiency weapon that delivers approximately 65 damage points per second. Theoretically enough to kill a Titan in two minutes of continuous striking, though in real world applications the time is considerably longer. Uh, you can see Tacky is using the basic uh, technique here, retreating and striking as the Titan catches up with him. Big advantage of the saber and of all melee weaponry is that it is silent. You can see he walks right by these other zombies and they do not engage in the conflict, allowing Tacky to keep his eye on the Titan. Part of the reason why we're doing uh, the two videos, as I mentioned, is we're focusing on lots of different weapons. In this case, we're mostly looking at melee and chainsaw. Uh, the additional reason is that the Titan is the last boss zombie that can reliably be hunted for profit, meaning you can spend less on ammunition, medicine, armor repair than you will earn from the loot you get from killing the boss, in this case a Titan. Uh, you can see here that Tacky has uh, passed some cars which give him a little bit of protection. If perchance aggro develops here, the cars are likely to block it. So he's decided to pause at this intersection and circle the Titan so that he can strike it more continuously and hopefully kill it a little bit faster. And again, you can see that zombie off to the left there is not interested until Tacky decides to take him out just to be safe. Beginning students may think, this is a level 66 test subject, so of course he performs well against the Titan. However, if you look closely, you will see that he is not wearing armor. This leaves him more vulnerable, and he is not receiving the boost in endurance and agility that students can get from using mastercrafted armor. Tacky is also using weapons without mastercrafted stats, putting himself somewhat more in the position of a lower level student who has yet to get all his stats in place. And you can see the Titan's pretty close to dead before some zombie dogs get involved. Tacky switches to a steel MS-800 chainsaw, which is another 80 proficiency weapon like the Saber. This one inflicts 94 damage points per second, which could kill a Titan in less than 90 seconds if you could keep it in continuous contact with the target. Of course, it takes longer because other zombies get in the way, but chainsaws are good for clearing low-level aggro. You don't have to worry about striking at the right time. You just put your finger on the button, let it run continuously. Pretty much everything it touches is going to be stunned and knocked back and eventually killed. This allows Tacky to efficiently spread the damage among multiple zombies until he has cleared the screen, at which point he can refocus attention on the Titan. Titans first appear in the western section of Fairview, but they persist farther east in more densely populated areas where aggro is a greater concern, as you will see on our next field experiment. Here, Yuki-08, a level 62 test subject, is using a 100 proficiency grinder chainsaw, delivering 151 damage points per second, which should be enough to kill a Titan in less than a minute. However, as you see, that kill time remains elusive in practice. The problem is that the grinder attracts nearby zombies. If there are enough, they swarm around the Titan, offering a layer of protection. To counteract this, Yuki-08 retreats, luring the Titan away from the swarm. She also switches to a battle axe, a 100 proficiency melee weapon, whose 74 damage points per second offer a theoretical kill time of 1 and 3 quarter minutes. More important than this, however, is that the battle axe allows Yuki-08 to continue the fight while retreating quietly to a safer location. We fast forward to a few moments later. Yuki-08 has been circling the block, leaving the aggro behind, but she knows it will catch up if she pauses to circle and grind the Titan. Fortunately, she finds this fenced-in area and lures the Titan around it. The pursuing aggro gets trapped behind the fence, making the Titan an easier target. This allows her to switch back to the grinder chainsaw, taking advantage of its higher damage per second. You can glimpse the zombies swarming helplessly on the right-hand side of the screen, but this is not an absolutely foolproof method. Some of the aggro does escape from around the fence, but only in small groups of three or four or maybe a half a dozen instead of the entire swarm. This is not enough zombies to provide a protective layer, therefore the chainsaw can do its work very efficiently and very quickly, and in a few moments the Titan is dead, all without firing a single shot which is a great way to save money on ammunition when you're boss hunting. 
Our final field experiment features Nahum Gardner, a level 83 farmer using shotguns. He begins with the Pain Shot 10, which is a 120 proficiency weapon that delivers 121 damage points per second. We generally do not recommend shotguns for boss hunting because they are better suited to spreading damage among multiple targets. However, the Pain Shot can almost be used like a single shot weapon. Its firing speed is the same as most rifles and pistols, and if fired from close range, the entire blast will hit the target. This makes the Pain Shot adequate, though not ideal. Yes, it delivers enough damage per second to kill a Titan faster than the other weapons we have discussed, except for the grinder chainsaw. However, the pain shot also attracts aggro, which its relatively slow firing speed will not quickly eliminate. Therefore, Nahum switches to the 110 proficiency AA-12. This shotgun features almost the same damage per second as the pain shot, but it fires twice as fast, three rounds per second, which offers almost as much knockback as a Vulcan minigun. This will keep Nahum safe from other zombies while he gradually wears down the Titan. Though the AA-12 clears aggro with reasonable efficiency, its knockback initially has little effect on the Titan itself, negating the chief advantage of shotguns. Fortunately, as the Titan weakens, it does start to flinch. When it is clear that the battle is nearing its conclusion, Nahum switches back to the pain shot, which will kill the Titan almost as fast, while using only half as many shells as the AA-12. Unfortunately, despite this cost-saving measure, Nahum loots only an iron pipe, the value of which is hardly enough to repay him for the ammunition spent. This is why we recommend using melee to hunt Titans. It's the only way to guarantee a profit.